Now, let's open that up again one more time. Okay, remember this one is show. it's like the black box. This is my black box, except I'm exposing inside the black box with some of the state variables, some of the operations that are assigned to that black box, and uh, inputs and outputs, flow properties. And all these other things are external systems, external uh, either man-made environment or natural environment that I have to interface with. Now, this box here, I want to decompose and describe as a block definition diagram for it. So that's what this next BDD is for, is to show the structure of my automobile itself. So if I click on it, it opens up the next BDD. You'll see I've expanded the compartments, so let's just collapse the compartments. So how do we do that? We, co we click on the object, come over to the side control sidebar, come down to the compartments, and turn them off. Uncheck them. Okay, now our, our automobile system is going to be made up of, and let's just see what we're made up of. The black diamond, the, the filled-in diamond, means this is the composition, or it's built from. So the automobile system is built from my exhaust and fuel system. The exhaust and fuel system block is built from my fuel tank. And then, of course, my fuel tank has fuel flowing into it. See, there's that flow property. So fuel is flowing into my fuel tank. It's a there's a chassis, a powertrain which is built from the engine, and here we've used a generalization symbol, the open triangle, to show two specialized engines. So here I've got a four-cylinder engine or a six-cylinder engine. So this is a Ab abstraction, the engine is an abstract object, and then I can have a more generalized one with more details uh, defined. Okay, over here you notice I've got a wheel, it's a block, and here we've used the multiplicity of two. So I've got two rear wheels, and I've got two front wheels. Okay, and then of course way over here on the right, I've got electrical assembly. I'm displaying one of the parts compartments. So if I click on it, remember, click on the control symbol, come down to the compartment, you'll see parts is checked. So this one, I just want to show that I've got electrical assembly is made up of two parts, a battery and a computer. Now, you'll notice that I'm showing it redundantly, the information. So the electrical assembly block is, has these two parts, but it's also being shown here. In SysML, it's recommended that you only show it one way and not show it both ways like I've done here. Uh, the tool will allow you to do it either way or both if you need to, but the specification recommends you're showing a one way. Now you notice here that the black symbol is like a composition. So this thing is made up of this and this, but this white one is called a share relationship. So this auto audio system, my radio, my stereo, is shared by the electrical assembly. I can unplug it take this box out and put it somewhere else in a different automobile where it's harder to unplug the computer or the battery. And so that's a different in the, in the notation here. And then of course the computer is uh, has shared software, a software controller. So the idea here is I want to look at my system architecture level by level. So here is the entire system. 
the entire system is made up of these first level component parts and I would describe the behavior for each one of these or well, those activity diagrams to identify the actions and then allocate the actions to the particular block that's going to perform the actions. So it's a combination of the block definition structure diagram and behavior diagram to describe the architecture of my system. Now if I come back over to the um, structure package for a moment, you'll notice there's a IBD, an internal block definition diagram. If I open that one up, that one is looking inside of a block and looking at more of the connections, the internal parts and the connections. So I'm starting to show uh, interfacing information, if you will. So in this one, here's my powertrain, and I've got a composite symbol here. If I click on it, come back over to my sidebar, you'll see I've got structure here checked. Once, if, you, if you're doing a little mini diagram in this structure compartment, everything else is dimmed out. Okay, so the powertrain is made up of my engine, my transmission, my differential, my rear wheel, and my uh, right rear wheel and the left rear wheel. And you'll see then these little black uh, arrowheads are, sh are called, uh, let's see, what are those called? Let me click on it over here. They're called item flows. And what type of item can flow? Well, there are three types. Let me do the right-hand pop-up menu on the symbol and do the rename like we normally do in Cradle. And here I can give the item flow a name, but then down here I tell it what stereotype is flowing for that item flow. If I look at the drop-down list, it can be a block or an actor, a signal, or a value type. So in SysML, in Cradle's implementation of SysML, there are three types of stereotypes that are the primary interfacing information. A block, like fuel, that would be a block, or a report would be a block. A signal, like a fire alarm, or a signal that gets sent, an asynchronous signal. And a value type is like a variable, something with a value. Okay? So each one of these, air is a block. I think we noticed that, right? If I do the right pop up menu and rename again, yes, it's a block. Where power, if I click on it and do the right pop up menu rename, it's a value type because it's got a value. And then I've got torque. That's going to be a value type as well. And if I want to change it, then I change it to a different stereotype and then give it a different stereotype name or pick the stereotype from the list. So I could ch pick a different stereotype here, a signal instead of a value type or a block instead of a value type. Remember those three kinds of stereotypes that are used to pass information, matter, or energy, or things to the system. Everybody okay so far? So this is an inter internal block definition diagram, and here we're trying to show the, the interacting parts, the interactions, and the information being exchanged between the internal parts. So this is a great interface diagram.